you've traveled great distances, we appreciate that you uh, made it here today. But whether you've traveled near or far, your presence here has made this the most memorable event. Over the past few weeks, I've uh, thought a lot about my mother and reflected on the role she has played in my life and in my brother's lives. Her influence on my brothers and me and who we've become as men, sons, and fathers allow me to share with you some of the attributes she has instilled in us by her example. Work ethic. Our mom worked tire tirelessly in various jobs in a single parent home as we grew up. And yet she also found time to make sure the house was always clean, make sure dinner was always ready, make sure the yard was always proper. Um, I can tell you that that work ethic is, is deeply embodied in both my brothers and I as we uh, you know, done a lot of the same things and I think it's really carried over in our own professional careers as well. So I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, multitask. I know already just by talking to some of you, you know, mom likes to have a lot of things going on. Um, but, uh, that has certainly uh, been instilled in all of us. Uh, and it goes along with, with uh, work ethic as well. Um, handling tasks, a lot of different tasks and activities is my mother's way and uh, our families agree that you know we, we like it that way it kind of keeps us engaged and uh, we like to multitask and it's really it's really benefited I think uh, again um, our lives and who we are also commitment well juggling a lot of tasks takes time and you know pulls us in a lot of different directions we were taught that commitment to what you were doing what your activity is, what your task is at hand, uh, is important. And you can't come about it, about it in just any kind of half-hearted manner. So whether it was homework, or trimming the grass along the sidewalk, on our knees, with the hatchet, when it's 100 degrees outside, <laughs> you gotta do it. And you gotta do it well. Are you going to do it again? <laughs> so, uh, breaking the leaves or whatever it was, um, it had to be done right, and and uh, certainly we appreciate that. Speaking of get things, speaking of getting things right as well, education was also very important in our house. Mom believes in education. She wanted nothing more than her sons to excel, and that started with uh, what we did in the classroom. We have succeeded in university, grad schools, and beyond. Uh, but it was really our, our uh, focal point, I think, that happened in the house first and enabled us to succeed uh, first at St. Teresa's, Burnside, um, Eisenhower, and uh, of course at Carroll. So uh, that was great. We couldn't have gotten through those places without uh, mom's influence and guidance uh, throughout, uh, throughout our academics. The next attribute I wanted to highlight is devotion. It didn't matter if it was school, sports, the neighbors. And we've got a few neighbors here tonight, and Brenda and, and Marge, and you know this certainly extends to them as well because um, you know we had a pretty unique place growing up. It was mom's devotion and support of us that really uh, helped us appreciate what a special place we grew up in. Devotions marked us in a couple of specific ways. Family, our immediate family and beyond, including many of you here today. Family is essential, and as uh, my mom has demonstrated that to us, through her care, 
and her devotion through her actions, um, both within our, our immediate family, like I said, and then beyond. So um, that was really good to see, and, and I know uh, family means a lot to a lot of you here, because you know, obviously you're part of the family. So uh, that's been very important to us. And uh, I specifically wanted to mention just, you know, how mom has accepted that um, the families we've created, the wives, the women we've married became our wives, how she's accepted them and forged a unique relationship with each of them. That's been uh, very important to us. And I think it's really uh, been a, a catalyst in, in the own family, our own families that we've put together. <coughs> The other area where mom's devotion really impacted us is in our faith. Mom has been a devoted Catholic, going all the way back to her school days at Mother of Sorrows and through Kenrick. She has ensured that we were brought up in a Catholic church and learned the message of the risen Lord. Mom, we've heard the message, we've accepted it, and we've uh, clearly chosen to bring our own families up in the Catholic Church, and it's been a very rewarding experience. And my brothers and I were pretty active when we were kids, whether it be playing in the backyard baseball or football or going down to the, to the park on uh, Hillside Drive there where they had basketball courts, or whether we were playing over at Audubon ARA field, which many of you probably passed on your way here today, is right around the corner. Mom was our number one fan. So, driving us to all those places, um, you know, making sure our uniforms were clean, getting us ready for baseball, preseason baseball, by the way, a little different than Florida. Uh, preseason baseball around here, as some of you know, means getting out there even when it's about 20 degrees. And, um, well, if one of my brothers was in a funk and some reason they didn't want to throw the ball around. Mom and said I would do it, and uh, we'd go down in the middle of the street, snow plowed streets, and uh, throw the baseball just so I could get my arm ready for baseball season. So, but now she chases her uh, grandkids around, whether they're on a soccer field, baseball fields, football fields playing piano, whatever. She's there for them, and uh, that's great to see. A couple other things, just, you know, tidbits. Uh, my mom, you know, loved to play games. Uh, some of you know, I know some of her bowling teams here, some of her card games, uh, card members are here. We did a lot of that when we were kids growing up, too, and that's been great. So, too, is travel, whether it be uh, trips in a station wagon all around the country, or to uh, re more recent trips like down to North Carolina, to France, to uh, the islands on a cruise with uh, Bo and Hank the Tank. Um, uh, not to mention the frequent trips, uh, of course, down to, uh, to Georgia. So uh, we always love having Mom here on the, on the travel front, love getting out to uh, explore and see different things. She also, of course, loves being outside, whether it be in the garden or taking walks or whatever. Um, that, that goodwill and spirit of uh, you know, getting involved and, and having fun, whether it be outside or on a dance floor or whatever, listening to good music, whatever. I mean, that's, those are all wonderful little moments that you uh, collect over the years and, and think about. Them. And it uh, takes time, I guess, to understand the influence of it all. But uh, the attribute most of all, that mom has instilled in us is love. Mom's love has been the glue of our family. And we are forever grateful. Thank you, Mom. I love you. I'm not going to be serious. I got my fun from mom. 
Well, I just want to say thanks for all those nights back when I was 9 and 10, and staying up watching the triple overtime hockey game, and it's 1.30 in the morning, and I heard for two and a half hours you got school tomorrow, go to bed, but all right, one more period. Thanks for staying up and hanging out with us, or knowing that on Monday Night Football, when it looked like I was asleep, I knew you were right there. You knew I was listening to the game on the radio, and you didn't say anything, or listen to Harry Cow. So it's one of those things now that I just tell my son, just listen to the game. You don't have to hide it anymore. <laughs> so just thanks for all those things. Everything that Walt said, and then some, you know, all your influence. Hopefully, you can see what you've done to us, and we've passed on to our kids. So, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. I love you as well. Like Chris, I didn't have anything prepared for today, but I don't think I need to prepare either. Um, I echo uh, almost everything Walt said. Um, you know, I guess every one of us here going through life as human beings, we have our highs and our lows. And um, we certainly have had that in our life. My mom's had it in her life. But we really just wanted to give her today a really big high. And you guys are all a part of that. And we appreciate that. All of you know Lorraine in your own way. My brother mentioned how we knew her as a mom, and, and I, again, I agree with everything Walt had said. She was a rock for us when we needed a rock. She was there for us all the time. The kids she's watched, the grandchildren know her as a grandma, family, neighbors, friends, and you all have your wonderful experiences. And I, Mom, I just want to say I'm proud of you. Um, she was used to having three sons in the house for a long time, and we all went out and got married and had our own families. But now at her, in her age, she is doing fantastic things with friends, women's clubs, family, etc. And uh, it still inspires us. So thank you, Mom, and congratulations on a wonderful life so far, and to many more. Happy birthday.